In the dystopian world overrun by zombies, only a handful of humans have survived. Trust has become a luxury due to the scarcity of resources. Andy and his family have been surviving on a boat for over two months. Although the boat provides relative safety, their primary concern is the dwindling food supply. One day, spotting a deserted yacht, Andy ventured aboard hoping to find supplies. He cautiously used a mirror to inspect the yacht's interior before entering. To his delight, he found ample provisions, enough to last his family several months. Just as he was about to leave, a noise startled him. Over brushing it off, Andy returned to his boat, clutching the newfound supplies. His wife Kay later decided to sneak onto the yacht, hoping to retrieve a razor for Andy. Another noise startled her too. Before she could react something or someone attacked her, woken up by his daughter's cries. Andy went to look for Kay, only to discover a trail of blood leading to the bathroom. The sight that greeted him was Kay, injured and frantically dressing her wounds. His worst fears were confirmed when she handed him a countdown bracelet, indicating she had been bitten by a zombie and had 48 hours before she'd turn. Hoping for a miracle, Andy remembered a government-issued map indicating relief stations on land, possibly housing a cure. The family immediately set off, only to realize that the mainland posed even greater dangers. Fortunately, they soon found a car. As Andy was refueling, Kay spotted an approaching zombie. Not wanting to alert it with her voice, she discreetly flashed the car's turn signal. Andy, catching her warning, jumped back into the car and sped off. However, it didn't take long for Kay to notice her wounds contaminated with zombie blood, a sign that she was turning. Desperate not to harm her family, she contemplated leaving the car and facing her fate alone. In a moment of heightened emotions, Andy halted the car rushing to Kay who was on the brink of leaving. Aware of her inevitable fate and the lack of a cure, Kay felt hopeless. Andy, however, refused to accept this and, determined, ushered her back into the car. To prevent her from acting impulsively, he intentionally broke the door handle. As they resumed their journey, fate struck again. A sudden appearance of a zombie on the road caused Andy to swerve, leading to a severe accident. A tree branch impaled Kay, while the impact rendered Andy unconscious. Upon regaining consciousness, Andy was met with a harrowing sight. Scribbled on the car door was a chilling message. Kay's face was smeared with zombie blood, indicating her transformation. In a tragic turn of events, as Andy tried to console their terrified daughter, the transformed Kay bit him. Heartbroken, Andy realized he had to put an end to his beloved wife's misery. Consumed with grief, he contemplated joining her in death. But the thought of their infant daughter kept him tethered. Taking the countdown bracelet from Kay, he adjusted it to 48 hours and continued his journey, carrying his daughter. On their way, the baby's incessant cries were only calmed when Andy sprayed Kai's perfume around. The familiar scent brought momentary peace. Just then, Andy spotted the very zombie responsible for their car crash. As he prepared to retaliate, a stranger named Thumi intervened, using a sharp stone to cut her palm. She looted the zombie with her blood. It appeared she had her unique way of keeping her dear ones close. Following the map, Andy eventually reached the supposed aid station only to find it eerily silent. Contrary to his expectations, the place was desolate. His search led him to Etta, who was huddled in a corner, noticing Andy's bite wound. She bandaged it, informing him that this place was no longer operational due to the rampant spread of the virus. The government had long since abandoned it. Hoping to leave his daughter in Etta's care, Andy's plans took another hit when he saw her removing a wig from her head, revealing her condition. Of course, here's a more streamlined rephrasing taking medication for what appeared to be an incurable ailment. Etta wasn't a suitable guardian for Andy's daughter, leading him to continue his journey with his child on his back. During their travels, Andy encountered zombies buried up to their heads, which stirred upon sensing their presence. Later, Andy discovered a truck and was taken aback when its owner turned out to be a zombified pursuer. However, the noise of gunshots attracted more of the undead. Zvik, another survivor, was trapped and sought Andy's assistance. But when zombies emerged nearby, Andy swiftly grabbed Vic's car keys, rescued him, and they sped away. Vic then introduced Andy to a gas station where he and his partner, Lorraine, resided. Their relationship seemed amiable initially, with Vic gifting Lorraine a necklace. Yet, Lorraine's dismissal of the gift and Vic's aloofness hinted at underlying tensions. Andy, initially puzzled by their dynamic, took a rest, leaving his daughter under Lorraine's care. Unexpectedly, Vic chose this time to instruct Andy in shooting, using zombies as live targets. 
Andy soon realized one of the caged zombies was Thumi, a familiar face. Witnessing the couple's callousness, especially towards Thumi, Andy doubted their trustworthiness. Things took a tense turn when Lorraine discovered zombie blood on Andy's daughter's clothes. Rather than confronting him, she discreetly cleaned the clothes. When Andy realized Lorraine was aware of his infection, he weighed his options, considering her as a possible guardian. At the brink of his transformation, Andy decided to use a government-provided syringe to end his life. Just as he was about to act, Lorraine holding his daughter interrupted him. Though she recognized his plight, she confessed her inability to care for his child, revealing her complicated relationship with Vic. Andy's growing mistrust of Vic became even more pronounced given Vic's questionable behavior throughout the day. Recalling a family he'd encountered near a river at the onset of their journey, Andy pondered on the possibility that they might be able to assist him and his daughter. However, as this thought formed, Vic blindsided him with a sudden attack. Regaining consciousness, Andy found himself imprisoned alongside Thumi, realizing that time was running short for both of them, especially with the imminent threat of turning into zombies. Spotting a sausage in their vicinity, Andy devised a plan to distract the approaching undead. This ploy granted them a short-lived freedom, leading them back to the gas station. While Vic was in a deep slumber, they quietly took Lorraine and the daughter and made an escape. But as fate would have it, Vic soon awoke and confronted them, gun in hand. Lorraine's attempt to mediate ended tragically with her taking a bullet. The ensuing chase found them taking refuge in a cave, laying low until Vice's fury subsided, and he departed. And that night, Thumi was alarmed by an unusual sound. Andy now showing early symptoms of the infection, had developed a taste for blood. By morning he seemed better and they pressed on. Along the way, Thumi paused to pay respects to a buried zombie. Her own father, as the day wore on, Andy's condition deteriorated rapidly. Thumi and the daughter eventually stumbled upon a grieving man who, having suffered a bite himself, was preparing graves for his family. Offering Andy two bullets as a way out, the man's subsequent actions echoed in gunshots, signaling the tragic end of his family. In the aftermath, Thumi and Andy's daughter discovered him contemplating ending his own life with the gun, only to be swayed by his daughter's plaintive cry. Thumi then presented an alternative, suggesting they seek refuge with her clan nearby. However, their journey was fraught with dangers, from zombies to a vengeful Vic. A tense showdown ensued, and just when it seemed all hope was lost, Vic's latent humanity emerged. Despite the reprieve, Andy's transformation was inevitable. In a heartbreaking display of love, Andy took measures to ensure he wouldn't harm his daughter post-transformation. Stricken but determined, he continued to lead the way, driven by the scent of decay. As the narrative comes to a close, a clan preparing to depart the scene is drawn to the cry of a baby. What they see is a harrowing yet poignant tableau. A zombified Andy safeguards in place, guiding his daughter and Thumi with the lure of carrion, proving that even in death, a father's love persists. In his final act as a father, Andy managed to save the two children and in doing so completed his ultimate mission. By the film's conclusion, Andy's daughter is lovingly welcomed into the tribe, a tribal member unexpectedly discovers a heartfelt message of gratitude on the child's abdomen, a lasting testament to a father's enduring love for his daughter and his appreciation to the tribe that embraced her.